all. Very nice. Now look at that. Oh yes. Yes, folks. I've got another restoration done. Um, yeah, it's taken me a while to get this one finished. The Cougar 2. So, December 1991, Radio Race Car International, which was a publication that the UK got. Um, I remember getting this magazine. I remember the sleek GT4 rally car. I really wanted one of them, but yeah, the Cougar 2. It was this that made me get my first Cougar 2. So the article inside, I must have read this way too many times. Going through all the pictures and everything. And obviously in this one, you've still got, you can see there, you've got a silver, poly silver chassis. It's not the red anodized, but I think it did say in here that it was going to be a red anodized chassis but yeah stunning and it made me want one so when i had this cougar 2 that i was getting restored there was only one way that i could go with it and that was to give it the cover image that i've seen know and love need a gearbox spur gear cover i know but i'm waiting until i've got a, a few more bits to order from model sport before i get that but it's all done so in the back there's a motor in there i've just put it in there just to have a bit of weight in the back end but yeah my favorite car everyone that knows me knows that i do love the cougar too the shocks have all been redone it does need a bit of setup it's got some uh wacky camber on the back don't know if it's going to show up on the camera but yeah yeah it's got some wacky camber on the back i do need a spur gear i've got some somewhere but yeah a massive shout out to peter pierce or Masami Pete, as he's known on Instagram. He painted the body shell up for me. Sent him some pictures out of the magazine. And yes, I absolutely love this. And obviously, we've now had a teaser from Schumacher that they are bringing out the Cougar 2 team. I've heard rumours about it. And obviously, they've posted that they're bringing out the Cougar 2. Whether it's the team, I would... I would be surprised if it's not the team, but I don't think it'll be the team that we know and love with the Ally drive shafts and everything, but that's it. So I've just got a battery in just for a bit of weight. But obviously the chassis is as good as it's going to be without getting it re-anodized, but I'm not going down that route. There's some wear marks here where the batteries have sat and some marks there from where the servo has been taken off, I'm guessing. But, yep, yeah, I do love this. Obviously, the underside bears the marks of it seeing some action. But what I'll do, I'll just get the camera. I want to have a nice little look over. So the aero disc wheels, these were brand new in pack. Uh, these have actually just pinched off my Cougar 2 works. I've got a set for this which those are the rears, they just need a little bit of cleaning up and the fronts. So just a little bit of cleaning up, some tires on them and then it, it can get on the shelf. Uh, this car I am going to run. I'm going to put a, a brushed motor and a Hobby Wing 1060 ESC, get that put in it and a servo just so I can run it because I do like to give all the cars a little run out and uh, yes some of well all of the screws predominantly are now hex so you can just see in there we've got hex primarily for the fact that like say I am going to run it 
but uh, yeah, absolutely love, love, love this car, the Cougar 2. So that's it. It's probably taken me about two years to get this one finished. I've got a few more in the pipeline left to do. But um, yeah, one thing I didn't do, I didn't bother with the bungee cords. I've just put zip tied through in there because they just go so quickly. So when it's sat on the shelf, you'll find that even then they will break down and uh, go soft over time. Can't get the body of shell on one handed. Not the best thing to get on. Don't want to be scratching it up. But yeah, we will see this running. It'll probably be next year before we see it running. But yeah, it's all done. Happy to have it all done. And it's also great just to go through the old magazines. So that's the car in action there. Um, I think this one, I don't know for sure, but it looks like it's got the plastic shocks on. Where is it at? There was a picture with the shocks. Yeah, so this picture here, this to me looks like they're the plastic shocks. I don't know for sure. But yeah, seeing that all those years ago and now I can see the real thing, kind of. I know it's not the actual one. But yeah, we will get this out up and running, like I said. But that's it. Just a quick little update that the Cougar 2 has been restored. And there's some more Schumacher goodness coming. In that I'm back to uh, running the Cougar and the Pro Cat next year. So again, Pete has done the body shells for them. So you can just see the pro cap, but that's what we've got for next year. Nice. I can see these when they're out on the track because yep, my eyesight ain't the best. But that's it. Take care and uh, we'll see you soon in the next video. Cheers, guys.